I've worked alongside of Williamson Memorial Hospital, and uh, we're working toward getting the hospital to to come down and do EKGs on all the guys because sometimes uh, kids will have some cardiac issues underlying uh, that are benign. They don't have any symptoms. They're asymptomatic until they just have sudden cardiac arrest. Uh, some of these things can be caught it, it early if, if the uh, proper tests are done. So what I'm, what I'm working out now is uh, we're going to have EKGs for all the kids and then I've arranged for a pediatric cardiologist from WVU to come down and, and interpret the EKG, uh, do a little assessment on the kids and give us a clear. Some advice I have for the parents is I know that sometimes when we get these physical forms back, they may or may not have seen a doctor. I know that that happens sometimes. Please don't do that. Make sure that kid gets a good athletic physical by a certified doctor. Watch your kid. If you see something changed in, in his activities, uh, if he's more tired, uh, different things like that, let us know. Let the trainer know. Let the coach know. If there's some kind of condition that, that the child may have had and you just want to look over it because you want them to be normal and be a football player or be a soccer player or a baseball player, don't do that, please. It's not good for your child. Let us know what's going on with them. Make sure that they do drink. It's, it's hot. It's summertime. They're just kids. The parents can also make for sure during the day that they stay hydrated. They can help us by, by making sure that they drink the proper things. Water's good but not all water. They also need electrolyte replacement. I've often gave kids uh, Pedialyte. They can drink some Pedialyte. They can also drink Gatorade. There's lots of drinks out there that they can drink that have electrolyte replacement, sodium, those kind of things that they need. So they don't have a depleted potassium uh, to where they're cramping. To go a little farther with that, depleted potassium can cause some cardiac issues also if it gets low enough. So we want to stay away from those things. Car cramping is just a warning sign that your potassium's getting to a dangerous level, it's getting low. So cramping's not a good thing. You, you see it all the time in sports and, and you say, well, he's just cramping, he's just got a cramp. Well, my profession, that's not a good thing. So we need to take it more serious. Starting with the parent level, our trainers, our coaches, we all gotta pay attention.